Welcome mathematicians to another video um, with Math with Mr. Almeida. I hope that you're having a great day. Uh, today we are going to solve percent problems. In this case we're going to find the whole. Um, I've made a video before this uh, about percents. If you'd like to watch that video at the end I will give you the link to it. But I'd like to review for you what a percent is before we go on. A percent is a rate per 100. That means um, that there'll be some number for every hundred. So in this case, if you see this number right here, this is 35%. This, um, this symbol right here means percent, which means for every hundred. So written as a number, it would be written as 35 hundredths. 35 for every hundred. 35 for every hundred. And of course, fractions can be simplified. So um, you pull out a common factor in both of these numbers. The common factor in both 35 and 100 is 5. And so 35 divided by 5 is 7. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. So a number that is equivalent to 35% is also 7 twentieths. Um, and these numbers may be helpful for you to use when solving the problem. Uh, you decide uh, whether you'd like to use the, the unsimplified rate or the simplified rate. And again, remember this, a percent is a rate. So we're going to be using ratio tables uh, to find out missing answers. All right, let's move on to some word problems. So cool treats, uh, let me just go back one second. So this right here clearly is not a whole. A whole would be a hundred percent, which is a hundred hundredths, just to show you what that looks like. That would be one hundred hundredths, which is equal to one, the whole. Clearly this is not a whole, it's less than a whole. Um, just wanted to go through that so you saw that when you look at a percent, you can tell whether that percent represents the whole or represents part. Okay. All right, so it says, Cool Treats sold 120 milkshakes on Saturday. That, now what is that? That is in a pronoun that stands for the 120 milkshakes. Anytime that you see that um, and it's referring to something, it has to talk about something that came before. So the 120 milkshakes um, is for or are 40% of the milkshakes that it sold during the weekend. So the 120 is part of the whole. Question is, how many milkshakes did Cool Treats sell over the weekend? So we know what the information is in our table. We know that 120 is part of the whole milkshakes that have been sold. So therefore, the 120 is the part we're trying to find what the whole is, and we know that our percent or our rate is 40%. So we're going to make a table, and it's important to, when you're talking about percent, to not just say 40. 40 represents 40 wholes, 40% 40 represents 40 hundredths, which is less than 1. Okay, so we have the part, and this part represents what was sold on Saturday. I'll just put Saturday here. It's important to note this because had the question asked us on Sunday, um, the percent would not have been 40%. The percent would have been, oh, if the question asked us uh, how many milkshakes did, did they sell over, oh, uh, over the weekend, um, if the question asked us about Sunday, it's important to know that because the percent is 100%, 40% is only part of that 100%. Right, And so if you figure out 40 plus what number gives me 100, it's 60. So 60% 60 would have been uh, the percent for, sat for Sunday, because 40% is for Saturday. Okay, I hope that did not confuse you. If it did, let me just reiterate. We are making a, a ratio table for the part, which is Saturday, and we're trying to find the whole. All right, so we write our rate first, which is the percent. 40 for every 100, and our part is 120. And literally, if we look here, um, we notice, and we're trying to find the whole, 
So we're going to go in this direction from part to whole. But if you look at, at, the, at the two numbers, you, you, can, you can see something that's happening here. We're, we're saying 40 for every 100. So, but if we look at 120, 120 is literally three times, exactly three times the amount of 40. So therefore, the answer must be exactly three times 100, which should be 300. But let's see, as we're going through, if our reasoning holds up. All right, so what do I have to multiply 40 by to get to 100? I'm going from, I'm ending up with a larger result in the end than what I started with. So the number I multiply 40 by has to be greater than 1. The only number that I can make using 40 and 100 that's greater than 1 is 100 fortieths. 100 fortieths can also be simplified. Um, it can be simplified using, uh, using uh, pulling out 20 from 100 and 20 from uh, 40 as a factor. And so you would get an equivalent fraction of 100 divided by 20 is 5 and 40 divided by 20 is 2. So what we're really doing is multiplying 120 by 5 halves. You could have also multiplied it by 140ths, but I like to use smaller numbers because it makes my multiplication much easier. Okay, so let's take uh, 5 and multiply it by 120, and then in the end, divide that answer by 2. So 120 times 5 is going to be 600, and then 600 is going to be divided by 2. And 600 divided by 2, we know is 300. And we said the answer was going to be exactly 300. And it checks out. So we did find our answer by using reasoning. Um, and that is why ratio tables are extremely helpful in solving rates, especially with percent problems. Let's move on to the next problem. So just before we move on, how many milkshakes did Cool Treats sell over the weekend? Cool Treats. sold 300 milkshakes. All right, last problem. Try this one on your own and come back when you have completed it. All right, now that you're back, uh, let's check this out. Barbara hiked seven miles from one point of a mountain to another point before stopping for a break. So she stopped for a break, um, but before she did that, she hiked seven miles. That, what is that? That is the seven miles that she hiked. Therefore, the seven miles is 27% of the entire trip. That means the seven miles are the part of the trip because 27% is a part of a whole and not the whole trip, which is 100%. How many miles? is Barbara's complete hike. We're trying to find Barbara's whole hike. So we have part, whole, and the percent. The percent is 27 percent. Barbara, we know, has hiked seven uh, miles for the part of the trip, and we're trying to find the whole trip, or the entire trip, or the complete hike. <laughs> Alright, so we have our part and our whole, and we're going to write our rate. 27%, which is 25 for every 100. So sorry, 27%, which is 27 for every 100. And we want to find, we know the part is 7, and we're trying to go from part to whole. So looking at 7, uh, 27 divided by 3 is 9, and this is less than 9. So therefore, the answer... Um, should be so 100 divided by 3 is like 33 and 1 third um, so the answer should be less than 33 and a third alright let's use what we know what do I have to multiply 27 by to get to 100 I multiply it by a number that is greater than 1 because I'm ending up with a number greater than what I started with and the only number that I can make using 27 and 100 is 127 <clears throat> All right, so let's do the same thing. Multiply 127 by 7, and we should get our answer. 127 times 7. Well, we know that 100 times 7 is 700, and we're dividing that by 27. 
700 divided by 27. 27 can go into 70 uh, two times because 27 is close to 30. Um, and 30 times 2 is 60. Uh, and let's see, uh, 2 times 20 is 40. And 2 times 7 is 14. Uh, 40 plus 14 is 54. And 70 minus 54 is 16. Uh, 16 is a um, remainder that's less than our divisor, so we, we can keep on going. If ever your remainder is more than what you divided by, you, can, um, you have to change this number because it can go into it more times. Uh, 27 can go into 160. Um, 3, 4... Four, 27 times 4, so that's 80, and then 4 is 28, that's 108. Um, I can get another one in there, so 5. Okay, uh, 5 times 20 is 100, and 5 times 7 is 35. 100 plus 35 is 135. And 160 minus 135 is 27. And I can get exactly one more in here. Oh, it's not 27. I'm sorry. It's 25. I wanted it to be 27 because I saw that right there. <laughs> All right. So our answer is 25 um, and 20, 25 and 25. 27ths of a mile. And if you were to do the, if you were to look at the decimal um, for 25 27ths, um, you, you could also write the answer in that way as well. So the answer is 25 and 25 27ths of a mile. We said the answer was going to be less than 33 and a third, and it is less than 33 and a third miles. Barbara hiked. Barbara's complete hike is 25 and 25 27 of a mile. I hope that you enjoyed this video on solving um, solving percent problems in finding the whole. Uh, for more for more information or more practice with finding percents of a quantity, you can click here. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, come back and uh, join us for some more videos on percents. Um, and rates as well as division of fractions. Hope that you enjoyed this and I'll see you back on the other side with Math of Mr. Almeida.